YouTuber says men playing video games is peak unattractive, which we've heard this so long. Popular YouTube personality Liz Wheeler recently ignited a social media firestorm after declaring that men who play video games are peak unattractive. The provocative statement from the female YouTube figure quickly went viral, attracting widespread responses from the gaming community and beyond. Gaming is widely is a widely enjoyed activity that brings entertainment, creative creativity, and a sense of connection to people across the globe. Millions of people play games on a daily basis across a variety of platforms, including Switch, PlayStation, and PC. Switch, please. <laughs> I didn't mention Xbox on here. <laughs> Appreciate that follow, uh, Kahana. Uh, <laughs> Making it a significant part of modern entertainment. Additionally, many fans enjoy watching their favorite gaming streamers with top names like Ninja XQC and Shroud attracting followers in the millions. Facts. Uh, recently, Liz, a well known American political commentator on YouTube with over 396k subscribers, shared an image on Twitter that highlighted statistics about attractiveness of, of various hobbies for men as a perspective by women. According to the image, playing video games was ranked as the least attractive hobby, which Willer endorsed strongly. She remarked that video gaming is a major red flag and that it is surprising how many men fail to recognize this. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. This chart also included uh, hobbies like magic tricks, collecting figurines. Hello, your stream brighten my day, fam. I would like to be here and get to know more about your stream you kind of at me uh uh collecting figurines gambling bird watching no bird watching <laughs> online trolling and more additionally willie clarified that the comment that her crit criticism was directed at frequent gaming rather than the occasional play of classic arcade games like tetris or Pac-Man. right this is 100% true. Man playing video games is peak unattractive beyond red flag like deal breaker zone. It's weird that so many dudes don't get this. Why Why is it weird? Where, where? Follow it, blah, 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 blah. Why is it weird that men play video games? Like, what's, what's weird about it? Like, what is the problem with men playing video games how is it unattractive what about it is unattractive appreciate you following anna what about playing video games is so and i need the female's opinion hey i need the female's opinion like what is so unattractive to you about a man playing video games and let's say okay if a man is playing I'll put it like this. If a man plays video games all the time, like a bum, he doesn't do anything. He's like, depends on the situation. He's always in a girl crib. He don't do nothing. He just plays the game all day while the girl go to work or something like that. Then, yeah, I can see that being unattractive. Who the fuck would want that? What if a man who goes to work, what's up, Anna? A man who, go, Anna Watson, a man who goes to work, makes his money, come home, and has been in, then plays the game. Like, is that unattractive? Like, and he's a hardcore gamer. Like, he plays real games, like real hardcore games. So, tell me how that is unattractive. I need to know. Like, the women need to, like, need to really, really make some bullet points as to why it is unattractive uh, for a man to come home at, at the stressful day of work and play the game, a story-based game or play the game with the guys, like what's unattractive about it? I need to know. <laughs> but also like, I play a lot of video games and I'm in a relationship. So I don't know if this, I don't know if that mode fits me very well at all. And I've been playing video games a lot. I don't know. I'm attractive. I'm handsome. Y'all see this face? Look at this. Mm. Y'all see that? Mm. 
I look good. So I don't know, man. <laughs> we, we just don't care. Take us as we are and don't take us at all. Hey, facts. Take us as they are and don't take them at all because y'all going to, like, most of the, y'all be like, this is, this is me. Like, most women, like, say, for instance, like, if they just fat and you meet them, they got pretty face. And then, like, they can be real, they can be even prettier if they lose weight. But they'll say some shit like, this is me, this what don't ask me to lose weight. But, you know, but if it was you overweight, and they'd be like, damn, you look good. But if you lose some weight, I can I can talk. We, you know what I'm saying? That's how, that's how men and women think, bruh. So, yeah, just take us as we are. Because <laughs> you want us to take you as you are. But what else was on here? Playing video games is the highest. Collecting figurines. Uh, online trolling. Why would you say I online trolling is something I did when I was like young, like in my twenty teens and twenties. Yeah, I would do that, but I wouldn't do that now in my thirties. Gambling. Um, I don't really gamble. I went to the casino. I've been to the casino what three times. I won once, and I think the the time that I lost, <laughs> that last time I lost. I never went back. <laughs> it's been years. Damn, it's been what? I think the last time I went to the casino, I was still staying with my mom in 20, what, 15 or something like that? It was something like that. That's the last time I ever been to the casino. Um, building model trains. I ain't in the building trains, but I don't think it's uh, taxidermy. That's when you um stuff them animals, right? Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to do that one. <laughs> Comic book collecting. Yeah. Man, let me see. Uh, attractive is subjective. Hobbies don't define someone's worth or attractiveness. Crazy thought. Maybe we let people enjoy what they love without reducing their value based on personal preference for entertainment facts. What's the difference in, like, say, for instance, like, y'all just want to sit there and watch Gossip Girls or some shit. You might think that shit unattractive. Gamers, please ignore her. I personally would rather have him be in the privacy of his own home doing what he needs to do, doing what he needs to compress from a hard day of work facts than be out at a bar getting drunk any day of the week. And if that includes gaming, so be it. Facts, that's what I'm saying. Like you're, I'd rather come home and play the game after work than go out there and get drunk. Be, You know what I'm saying? Like I don't drink like that. So I'd rather be at home, like decompressing by playing the game. Like, what's so, what's so bad about that, bro? Hold on, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, bro, ain't nothing wrong with playing video games, bro. If that's what you like to do. That's what you like to do. That's what you want to do. Then you should do it. There's nothing wrong with it. You keep doing you. You keep playing these video games and having fun and doing your thing. And uh, we ain't going to worry about the rest. Y'all need to chill out, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with playing games, man. Uh, make your money if you make money from games. If you just enjoy it as a hobby, then you enjoy it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. All right, let's move on.